Taylor, H. Herman, Herman Denny Farrell, Assemblyman from District 71, Clifford Frazier, and Dr. Barbara Wheeler. No, no, not at the same time. No, 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 no. <laughs> One at a time. Look at And if you were around her, it was catching. Yeah. It was a wonderful, wonderful spirit that uh, came here to teach us a few things, I think. Yes. Uh, she never hesitated to let the booty deeds know <laughs> when she thought about what was important. <laughs> And uh, so I made a list. At first I wrote out some things and then I made a list. And I first I said happy because Vicky made me happy. Yes. It, especially when she went and got those crabs. Oh. <laughs> a person who sees the need for change and devotes their time to doing something about it. Mm -hmm. They are driven by passion and a vision for a better future. Hers was a consistent message, community and its people primary. She was a founding member of Community Board 9's Arts and Culture Committee, formulating an incontestable testimony for the reinstatement of a standing Arts and Culture Committee in Harlem, please. Yes. We stood side by side with Dr. Vicki during the countless working sessions for the Community Benefits Agreement. We stood shoulder to shoulder with her and pressed forward in our advocacy with the West Harlem Development Corporation to ensure that arts and culture endeavor played a significant role in the continued viability of our beloved West Harlem. And Vicki loved West Harlem. Yes. <laughs> she understood that arts can foster community action and bring about political and social change. She understood that youth are precious commodity. She never failed to encourage their spirits and their aspirations. She did not rely on the language of rhetoric and persuasion, but my girl spoke passionately, <laughs> grounded in her fierce belief that despite opposing points of view, we should always do the right thing. Amen. <laughs> her brilliance could be heard. She was the community memory persevering with integrity. She was a loving, caring, and devoted daughter. Dr. G was our girl. What character, and what a character. <laughs> she didn't let you get too close, but she pulled you in steadfastly when there was work to be done. She was a general commanding her troops. You had to do it, and you had to do it now, and you had to do it right. right. <laughs> need a proposal by five o'clock, seven pages, okay? You know, address it to this person. Vicky, it's 4.30. You got a problem with that, Tom? <laughs> she was so complex and so caring. She could be standoffish, and yet she was so loving and generous to a fault. Her spirit will be kept alive in her legacy of contribution and commitment as we bear witness to her extraordinary life and sing her praises. I'm going to condense a few excerpts from her bio just so that you understand, you know. Oh my goodness gracious, this girl. Vicki Golson was a media specialist. She graduated from, Pat with the B, from Pratt with a BFA in art education and received a master's in graphic arts and a doctorate in philosophy in communications design from Antioch Union Graduate School. And she liked to tell you the first such doctorate in Harlem. Yeah. <laughs> in her professional life, Dr. Wilson produced visual materials for many prestigious media companies, including children's television, um, television workshops, CBS, ABC, and PBS. In the motion picture industry, she worked with many of the major production houses, Columbia, Time Life, American Film Institute, Warner Brothers, Paramount. Her work as a communications design specialist afforded her the opportunity to travel extens extensively within the United States, the Caribbean, Africa, and Europe. 
She frequented the international program market in Cannes, France as the business representative for independent filmmakers. And she has served as an educational and technical consultant for in-school broadcast programming in the U.S. Virgin Islands. Our girl. But it was her work here, here at home in Harlem, New York City, that she was most proud and to which she was fervently dedicated and to which we've been talking and singing her praises tonight. Yes. She was appointed to Community Board 9 in 1992 by then um, Borough President Ruth Messenger. CB9 serves Harlem's, West Harlem's community, Hamilton Heights, Sugar Hill, Morningside, Manhattanville, um, from 110th to 155th Street, Bradhurst to the Hudson River. My girl was expansive. She was a leading figure in urban planning issues, community development projects, youth education programs, okay, for all for 25 years. Working with other community leaders and elected officials, she led the fight for the empowerment zones. Organized health initiatives for pregnant teens. Designed and implemented arts and education programs for at-risk youth. Clean neighborhoods infested with drugs. Led the city's efforts to transform vacant lots into community gardens. And you know the sculpture garden was her pride and joy. And created safe environments for seniors and children from Inwood to Washington Heights. Her efforts organizing local youth transformed the drug traffic stretch of land mired in four feet of debris into the Senior Citizen Sculpture Garden Park, as we said, her pride and joy. The design celebrates and honors the myriad of contribution made by seniors in the Harlem community. She attempted and she achieved, she, she, she bridged the gap bringing seniors and young people together. The, 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 it, it was a cross-generational collaboration which enhanced the quality of life in the neighborhood for seniors and young people alike and got them talking to each other mm -hmm. during the generation gap. Mm -hmm. By responding to their pleas for safety and peace of mind, the sculpture garden is an environment <laughs> within, which ensures reflection and celebration while bridging the generation gap, serving seniors, and fashioning future leaders. That was her passion. Her legacy as a voice of reason in Community Board 9 continues, even though her tenure came to an end earlier this year. She was instrumental in helping her board members maintain an ongoing dialogue with Columbia University concerning a fair negotiation of the Community Benefits Agreement. She served as chair of the Housing Committee and the Communications Committee. She served and sat on just about every committee at some time. <laughs> her work as a community advocate and educator earned her consistent reappointment to CP9 over the years. She even received a merit award from um, Messenger in recognition of her outstanding civic service. She was a member of the North River Community Education Review Board, and if Ann Rock is in the room, I'm, I'm putting it in here for you, Ann, that monitors and responds to community concerns relative to environmental issues, air and water quality, for example, waste management, yes. employee, employee safety, okay, Riverbank Park, Riverside Drive Park. Um, she, as you know, she resided just a few blocks away. She was committed to redesigning and implementing a contemporary urban plan that documents the cultural and communal history of Harlem, creatively, interactively, preserving the legacy and securing the future of Harlem. She founded her own company to achieve this deal, Design Environment for Experiential Learning. And she did that, I think it was around 2002 a multimedia communications design laboratory. The focus was to bring different generations of Americans together through interactive learning, powerful. She wanted to develop a lab where young creative minds and talents can try new things, be free, have an opportunity to experiment. 
The communications research lab, as expressed by Dr. Golson, and these are her words, I created it to retain and enhance the quality of life in a village which has given so much to me and to others who too often are forced to leave the community. Mm -hmm. A community which continues to give so much to the world, Harlem. She was the recipient of many honors and awards, um, Rockefeller University, Ford Foundation, New York State Travel and Study. She won a prize for her exhibition design work at the Agricultural Fair of the Virgin Islands. She was recognized by the Modern Museum of Art, Bonnet Breath Municipal, and A.S. Beck Humanitarian. She was named one of the 10 most outstanding young women in America. Collaborating on many projects with Dr. G, working together to do the right thing, making sure that justice was served in our beloved West Harlem Village, ensuring that the voices of the underserved would be articulated loudly and clearly. Shouted out from every sugar hill to the heights of Washington and Hamilton Place, to the treetops of Morningside Avenue, to the mountaintops of Jackie Robinson and Marcus Garth Park.